Hello everybody, I'm back with another uh, gameplay demonstration. Uh, today I'm going to show you the map and the inventory. There we go. Uh, right now the map is just kind of a rough draft of what it's going to be, but I just want to show its functionality, like how you know, it actually works. So there's a little player icon, a little yellow arrow for now. And no matter where I go, it will match up with my position in the world. So say I go over here next to the car. There you go, look at that. It's right there in the right spot. Circle around the car, get to the other side, say passenger front, and still there. Cool. All right, so the main functionality of the map is going to be uh, a lot like those Resident Evil games, like we've mentioned before. In that it will show you the locations of items on the map that you've discovered and, of course, doors. So you see the little white lines. Here, let me get closer to this door. There we go. See a nice white line right there showing the door. White lines are going to represent doors that have not been interacted with at all yet. So we don't know if they're locked or if they're unlocked. In this case, we can see a padlock on this door, so we know that it's locked. If I check it, a little debugger tells me that it's locked. It just dug to my inventory and also told me that I do not have the key that I need to unlock it. So I go back to my map. Now it's red. I've got this little demo key here sitting on this uh, wheelbarrow. Now I pick it up. So it's in my inventory. Whenever I go to the door, it will automatically use the key if it finds out that I have one in my inventory. So there we go. And now that the door has been unlocked, I can see that the door has become green. Now it's unlocked. Go through the door. Okay. Uh, another thing about the inventory is going to be uh, item management. Something I've always kind of wanted to have in my games, but I just never really knew how to do it. Finally found a good tutorial that really walked me through it and allowed me to do this right. So just like Resident Evil, once again, because they're sort of the, the benchmark for this sort of stuff, you have a storage chest. You go in there. You've got a big old extra side inventory. So whenever you run out of items over here, throw stuff into this chest. And it's going to be a universal chest. So uh, just like the other games, if you find one lying around, it'll have all the same stuff. So say I take this thing out. Oh, now it's my inventory. And just because it's something sort of familiar, not that this is actually going to be in the game, a little green herb here. So if I pick this up, actually before I pick it up, now that I've discovered it, Whoops, wrong button. We can actually see it on the map now, right there. And if I pick it up, now it's no longer on the map. It's destroyed itself, but it is in my inventory. And I can send both of these things over here to the storage box, take them back out. Uh, let me show you one more thing. There's another one that was kind of hidden in the uh in the environment so I walk by it don't pick it up oh now it's marked there for later i'm gonna go ahead and take it though all right let me run downstairs to the generator if you're familiar with the original house of Belize, and i'll show you how you can just use items from your inventory to cause events to happen say things like this right here nothing's going to happen whenever i check it until I go into my inventory, use this gas can. You can see the little spear trace that's triggered this. So now whenever I check it, oh, the lights come on. And in my inventory, the gas can is gone. I'll be adding little things like notifications telling you that the item will be dis uh, discarded and all this. It doesn't freak people out whenever things are just being pulled from their inventory without them knowing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. And this door that I just went through. Since I've checked it and the game knows that it was unlocked, it should also be green, and it is. So, yeah, that is it for now.